Hey, what's going on guys? Vanilla here back with more Rare Replay. Let's go ahead and jump into Banjo-Kazooie, my favorite game on the collection. Uh, this is actually going to take us into the Xbox 360 emulation, which is a new thing. Uh, I guess kind of first being rolled out with Rare Replay. Uh, so the Xbox gets very angry and makes loud noises. It's terrifying. But, uh, yeah, so it actually this is actually emulation of the Xbox 360 arcade uh, version of Banjo Kazooie is actually not on the disc, so I couldn't actually get the achievements again, which sucks because you know I like my achievements, but whatever. Uh, I have done a let's play of Banjo Kazooie already on my channel. Um, maybe I'll link that in the description below in case you're interested, because I need to do this game again. But uh, it doesn't save my progress from the other file. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, do some Banjo Kazooie. You don't need to see the intro. We we've all seen the intro for Banjo Kazooie. Ah, bottles. That's right. I gotta talk to him to get my moves. But yeah, I mean, I growing up, I played this game uh, an incredible amount, and uh, I know no, I know this game with the back of my hand. I can beat it. I, I wouldn't say like it's not. I wouldn't, I'm not like a speedrunner of this game, but I can beat it relatively quickly, um, 100%, you know. Um, which, so I think for this one, I think I'll probably play it for about half an hour. Um, and then just see how far I can get. I think I can probably 100% uh, Mumbles Mountain. Yeah, I'm good enough. Uh, you bet we're good enough, Bottle Brain. That's right. Mm, very well, I'll give you your basic moves. Meep the top of Spiral Mountain, okay. Uh, I can't talent trot, that's right. Um, I, I'm not even going to bother going for the uh, extra honeycomb piece. Or extra life piece, because I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get to the top of the Spiral Mountain here. Can't get up there like that. That's right. But yeah, I mean, everybody... This is kind of like, for me... This is this is my favorite rare game. Um, it's not even close. I, mean, I like Banjo Tooie. Don't get me wrong, but I don't know. The original Banjo Tooie has kind of just always been my favorite. And who knows? Hopefully, with uh, all right, stop trying to be fancy. With um, Platonic Games doing their uh, ukulele, hopefully they'll uh, continue the spirit of Banjo Tooie. I'm hoping. I uh, I back the game. I think it's coming out in October 2016, I think. Or something like that. So we've got about a year. But, you know, it'll be worth it. Alright, if I can skip bottles here. I don't think I can skip them, but... No. I don't care, bottles. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Yes, I'm ready to tackle the witch. Like I say, the, uh, the Xbox um, arcade version looks really good. I mean, this is a N64 game, and it looks just fantastic. Um, oh, that's right, they show you this too. So that's Tootie, that's Banjo's sister. Y'all y'all kind of know this stuff. That's Grunty the Witch. She likes talking rhymes. Oh, let me go, you fat hag. My brother will come. This is uh, Tootie's only appearance in uh, in Banjo. I don't even think she's in Nuts and Bolts. So I'm pretty sure she's not. But, uh... Yeah, Alright, come on. I just want to skip. I want to see how far I can get into Mumbles Mountain. I'm pretty sure I can 100% Mumbles Mountain. Um... Before... Uh, before uh, 30 minutes are up here. There he is, the fun begins. My tricks and traps will see who wins. Let's get our first Jiggy here. It's me, Mr. Jiggy. Everybody talks and kind of mumbles and grunts and weird noises. That's kind of just how uh, Banjo Kazooie is. I keep trying to keep trying to talent drop, it's just not happening because I don't have the move yet. So you enter worlds, kind of like Mario 64, you enter through paintings and stuff like that. You don't enter through the paintings, but you have to complete the painting in order to actually get into the, uh... 
the level. So you gotta get enough jiggies to fill in the pieces, obviously. Pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. So it's our first level, Mumbles Mountain. Easiest, you know, basic level that you can, uh, you can imagine. That's such an easy fit. There's other that may just test your wit. I love Grunty's rhymes. I know some people might not, but uh, I'm a fan. The three new moves. Oh, you don't say. But yeah, so you're collecting notes. It's, it's a collectathon, you know. That's that's what banjo is. Yeah, it's not a bad thing. You know, I, I like me some collectathons. Yes, we got some notes. We got a Jinjo. Uh, let's see. No, I keep forget. I keep trying to like do moves I don't have yet, so I can't do that thing where you uh, kick. Oh, but that's, I, don't, I think that's a banjo too, actually. Where uh, you have both of them swim, swim at the same time. So you got Kazooie um, pushing and banjo kicking in the water. But yeah, this is just uh, my childhood right here. I remember um, struggling to actually beat this when I was a kid. It was hard when I was a kid, you know, especially Rusty Bucket Bay and shit like that. So Kanga here is throwing her oranges. Just gotta stand on these little conveniently placed switches. I think I think Kanga's a girl, maybe. I I don't know. Yeah, there's ten jiggies in each world. Uh, hundred notes. Five jinjos. Is that what it is? I think it's, I think it's five. There's one jiggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, I'm sure a lot of you have played this game already. Um, at least seen playthroughs of it. Hi, right, Chimpy. Chimpy wants an orange. I'll get you an orange, Chimpy. So, climb up Kanga's little tree. Nope. Climb up the tree. Grab an orange. That tree has a lot of oranges for being that, uh, that small. It's also not Diddy Kong. It's clearly Chimpy. And I didn't, I didn't know uh, chimps liked oranges, to be honest. There's two. Also working on a terrible, terrible headache right now, so I'm gonna try to focus as best I can here. But yeah, I'm thinking I'm, I think I'm dying. So there's that. Bottles, bottles, bottles. Thank you. Teach me that move, son. Ancient ways of the egg. So I was just gonna teach Kazooie how to shoot eggs out of her uh, her mouth and butt. Anything else? Nope, sure. And you can shoot them out from behind. She sounds painful. 100 eggs. Okay, okay. Let me just, let me just, I want to, I want to proceed. I'm speed running here, bottle. Let's go, man. Nope, get out of there. Okay. I'll grab me a mumbo token, an ekum token, as they, as they say. And Grunty Switch. Oh, I don't, have the, I don't have a fucking ground pound move yet. Jesus Christ. That's a, that's a basic move to me. Camera. Thank you. Look at Kanga. Fuck you. Come on. Nope. Screw you. There you go. I don't know why it makes a, a donkey noise. Or uh, maybe it's like Donkey Kong, because Donkey Kong's a monkey and it's got donkey in its name. I don't know. Give me that. Thank you. Yeah, every time you get a jiggy, it plays animation. It's a, It can be a little annoying, but, you know, it's whatever. Uh, the notes, uh, so some of the improvements on the, the 360 version is that the, uh, the draw distance is much improved, and also uh, the note score works differently. So in the N64 version, you would, let's say you collected like 60 out of 100 notes and you died. That's your note score. So you have to recollect that 60 and then the 40 you missed, but uh, in the 360 version, it, it saves it. So if you collect 75, die, um, 
those 75 are still collected, so you don't have to collect all of them again, which is nice. I, I love that, especially with um, levels like uh, Rusty Bucket Bay and Click Clock Wood, where, yeah, you would die a lot <laughs> in, those, in those levels. And it was nice not having to recollect all those notes. But now I got the best move in the game, which is the Talent Trot, which allows you to climb up uh, steep, steep slopes and uh, just move, a, move, like just run a, like twice as fast, essentially. So you know, it's gonna make this a lot more easy to uh, speed run. So moving on now. Actually, let's go down here. Get some of these uh, notes on this this slope. We plus like Kazooie just jumps insanely far while in talent trap mode too. So again, it's the the most useful uh, move in the game. You're, you're gonna use a lot. Like this is like your primary um, way of, way of moving around really. Except for like precision platforming, it might be a little you know. Too quick, so sometimes you want to use banjo, but I pretty much am in talent, talent trot mode a uh, good part of the time. Fuck you. Our last move is gonna be over here the butt stomp, ground pound, whatever you want to call it. Kind of a, a staple in any, any platforming game is that ground pound move. Oh my god, my head hurts like you would not believe right now. I'm just gonna try to stick through it though. I'll be fine. It's all good. There's nothing more I can teach you on this world. Thanks, Bums. <laughs> so, now we can do our ground pound, which, uh, so explanatory. You pound the ground. Go figure. I don't know what these, like, tribal dudes are, but I guess they're just the inhabitants of this land. Mumbo Land. So each one of these has a little surprise inside for you. So I don't want to deal with you. There's our Jinjo, our Jornjo. Green Jinjo. Extra wife. Some of the noises some of these items make are pretty funny, though. Got a Jiggy, let's grab another Jiggy. It's just Jiggy's out the butt. Don't want to see uh, Mumbo yet. Actually, I'm going to go and do this. I'm terrible at this, by the way. Got to shoot the eggs into the uh, totem pole. It's all good. I think I want to do one more, right? Yeah. And then we grab this, which is our honeycomb piece. Damn it! There we go. Yes, yeah, so there's uh, there's two honeycomb pieces in each each world, which is just a way to extend your life, your maximum health. Go down. Yeah. Grab another jiggy. Good lord, jiggies just everywhere, raining down onto me. Grab some more notes. So I think the only Jiggies we got left are the Jinjo and the one on top of the mountain, right? I think. Pretty sure. I don't know. Gotta grab more Ikum Tokums. I forgot how many I need, actually. It might be five. I think it's five uh, Mumbo Tokens to transform in this level. But uh, I could be wrong, I don't know. Wow, I'm actually uh, almost done with this, uh, this level. Um, and there's a... Uh, I can probably get that from here. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, that's a very steep slope. You're supposed to get that as the uh, the uh, termite, but I kind of just said screw it, and I grabbed it anyways. So, uh, let's go head into Mumbo's hut. I think that's all I need to do. Pretty sure. I think he's got. I think he's got a mumbo token inside here waiting for me. Does he? Huh? Where am I missing a mumbo token? Me, mumbo, best shaman, blah blah blah. I thought he had a mumbo token in here somewhere. 
I don't, I don't, I don't care, Mumbo. I don't, I don't care. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Oh, there's a Mumbo token inside of the mountain. Now that I think about it, that's where it is. Oops. I should have, uh, should have known that. Should have known there was a Mumbo token inside of here. And then you come back, and then you can, uh, do the thing. There we go. Alright. Now we can go back. This might be a record time for me actually beating this level. I don't know. Transform me, please. Make me into what I've always wanted to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how to do it. I could probably get to the second level at this point. If we wanted to. I don't know. Almost managed for you to change back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so all we gotta do now is, uh... Go into the, the mountain here. Uh, Termite can't actually do anything. It can jump. It doesn't take fall damage, which is really cool. But, uh, yeah, you can climb up uh, really steep slopes that even uh, Kazooie cannot while in Talent Trap mode. So, huh, there we go. And huh, huh. Hey, where did you get those shorts? I want them. You can't have them. Hey, got all the notes. Look at that. Cool. Give me that cool backpack, or else. No, you can't have my backpack. It's my backpack. And here is our final. Jiggy. Just give me it. Uh... Uh -huh. That means you got all of the uh, Jiggies in the world. We also got all the notes. So, uh, this level's done. How quickly did I beat this? Anyways, you sodals. Uh, 11 minutes, 48 seconds. Very nice. Very, very nice. I could probably get the. I, I bet you if I really, really, really tried, I could get this level done in under 10 minutes. But, uh, I don't feel like doing that. Uh, I forgot to hit the, the Grunty switch. Um, so if I had ground pound that switch, there would be a Jiggy up here. Uh, that I could get as a termite, but I don't care. So you get too far away from the level. Uh, you, you actually. Your transformation will wear off. Yeah, I know. Oh no, I want to be a termite forever, though. Termite Kazooie. Alright, so moving on. Head on up here to our first note door. Oh man, I want to like play this game again, just like let's play it, but I, I can't. I already did it. So this is this is the best I'll get. Yes, yeah, so there's, there's a bunch of note doors um, in the game. First one's obviously nothing at all. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Let me go, let me go, let me go. Ah! I know how it works, bottles. Yay. Uh -huh. When you open up, oh, sorry, Grunt, I cut you off there. That door was easy, you got past. Unfortunately, your first didn't last. Oh, I stepped up the game now. You gotta get two. You gotta get two jiggies in this one. Why would you want to remove pieces? Like, really? So I'm pretty sure my head's going to explode. Uh, just, just it's just pounding. It's just gonna explode everywhere on camera or on on microphones. So you hear just a. It'll probably sound like a watermelon being dropped from a high, high place. Alright, so we just opened up our second level, Treasure Trove Cove. Um, so, eventually, so like the, the level uh, doors start to get farther away from their actual um, paintings or jigsaw puzzles. So, uh, Treasure Trove Cove is down here. You jump inside this big old trick chest. And there you go. Uh, excellent music in this level, too, by the way. Ahoy there, this be Treasure Trove Cove. 
there be two new moves for ye to find. Bottles of Pirate. So, uh, let's go ahead and grab our first new move while we're at it. Go up here. Nope, that's a, that's a wall. How do you miss that note? I'm not gonna be able to 100% this level, uh, in 10 minutes, because we've only got about 10 minutes or so left. But, uh, this grants us the power of flight, which is, uh, which is cool. So, a lot of, uh, parallels to Mario 64, you know, flying the ground pound, collecting, uh, stars slash jiggies. And in my opinion, Banjo-Kazooie is a better game. Kind of feels more polished and just, you know, it's just more fun. I've always liked it more. Not that uh, Mario 64 is a bad game. I love the hell out of that game, too. But, you know. If I had to pick, I'd probably pick Banjo. Uh, so what can I do? I'm going to go ahead and... Might as well grab... Is that Jiggy up here? Yeah, it is. Now, can I grab this without landing? That's the question. Probably not. No. Alright. The <laughs> hell? I can probably get like five, maybe, Jiggies in this. Oh, nope. Can't land on that. Shit. Oh, yeah. That's the second move. Is the uh, shock jump pad spring, whatever you want to call it. Um, which is right here. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This kazooie do it? My legs are tired. I wish I could just skip the dialogue, like, completely. But I can't. Can't do that. There we go. So, yeah. That's a uh, pretty cool move, too. Uh, it's, you know... Very specific. He's going to do it on these pads, but, you know, it's still cool. Look at this Jinjo. It's Jornjo. Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, thank you, Jinjo. Jinjo! What else can I do here? I can, uh... I can shit in this bucket. That's what I'll do. I'm gonna shit in this bucket up here. It's not a box. Is it a storm cloud? That's a storm cloud. That's cool. So here's our good friend Leaky. Hey Leaky. No, that's not the button I wanted to press. Uh there we go. It's B. So somehow shitting eggs and leaky patches them up. I don't know. Which then drains the sand castle, which again, I don't know why that makes sense, but it does. Alright, let's go ahead and enter the uh, sand castle, which is also used for uh, entering cheats in. Alright, Mr. Crab. I'm gonna uh, go ahead and start now. So, you're just spelling Banjo Kazooie, which, even if you didn't know how to spell it, it's on the wall uh, to your left there. Where's the N? Where's the N at? There it is. Oh my god, my head is just awful right now. I'm going to die. I think I'm dying. I think I may have already died, and I'm just actually... None of this is real. Ka... Kaz... Where's the Z? Kazu... Kazu... Oh, where's the O at? Or ooh... Banjo Kazooie... Yay. And then you get a kill. You gotta, you gotta kill that crab, man. You gotta kill that crab. You gotta kill that crab. And he's dead. Another jiggy for me. Hooray! Alright, it's two. I can probably get uh, two more, maybe. Four times up here. That's just my guess. If I can get out of the freaking hole. Uh, where's it going? Oh, back this way, actually. Go over here. Where is there? He is over here. So now we're gonna visit our good friend uh, Snipper. Is that his name? Is Snipper Snapper? Hey, this Nipper. Nipper is his name. That's right. Nipper's cool. Oh, you cheeky bird. 
So just uh, wait for him to uh, stop snipping and poke him in there right in the little dumb face. Oh, I hurt Nipper. Uh. I'm like a bird though. Uh. Die. So he goes into his shell, yet he's not in here when you go in here. So I don't know exactly what happened to him, but you know, he's probably just, just, just disintegrated. I don't know. And uh, he's got little crabs inside of him for some reason. I don't know why. Again, I don't ask questions. Ow. Oh, this crab's gonna hurt me. This crab's gonna hurt me. I uh, only have got two bars of health left. That's kind of sad. But yeah, I'm not too concerned with uh, the notes right now. Um, again, I'm not going to be able to 100% this level in three minutes. But, you know. What else can I do? Um, I can talk to Captain Blubber. Captain Blubber, come here. He lost his gold. I'm Captain Blubber, I lost me treasure. Yeah, I know. I know where it is. It's in... It's in your ship, Captain Blubber. How... You're just dumb. You don't know that. We'll find it for you. So, go in here and ground pound that. And you're in a ship. Um, there's one bar. There's an Ikum Tokum, too. A couple more tokens, but I call them Ikum Tokums. There's one. And the other one is on the other side, but we can't get to it from here, so we have to go out of the ship. And... This right here. Go on in. There you go. That's a good ball. And it's uh, right there. Grab that. See, again, it's like in this dumbass ship. So I lost it. I'm a hippo. It's almost like I can swim myself and get it, but I don't know how. But whatever. So let's deliver him his gold. There you go, you blubbering idiot. Yay. Me treasure. Yay, Jiggy. Getting Jiggy with it. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Nope. There you go. Uh huh. Alright, we can probably grab one more. One more Jiggy, I think. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Actually, I can probably grab two. There's one in uh, this chest right here. Huh. Just be going to sell this booty. Ew, I don't want to touch your booty. Oh, fuck. Uh, okay, a snacker's gonna get me. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, just kidding. Just kidding. It's all good. I need some health, by the way. I'm probably gonna die soon. Oh god. Thank you. Just what they needed. Alright, try this one more time and then we'll, we'll stop. I just gotta get this one last jiggy here. Without getting killed by a stupid chest. land, please. Timing, how does it work? Nope. Do it, uh, now. There we go. Yay, I did it! Woo! Hooray! That golden treasure was for me. Now harder still the game will be. Alright, I think we get one more. I lied. I think we have time for, like, one more jiggy. If I can get this really quick, I think I can do it. So I'm gonna mash A. Get to the top. Oh yeah, there it is. There it be. There we go. So yeah, I got about uh, got six. Now hold on. Can I get another one? Can I possibly get one more jiggy? Alright, this is risky. It's risky, right? Alright, alright, I got this. Hold on. Oh, oh, I'm gonna land it. There it is. 
Seven. I already got seven. That's crazy. But uh, that's probably all I'm gonna be able to do right now. Cause the rest of them I gotta do some other stuff. It's a whole, it's a, it's a whole thing, really. All right, that was pretty good. So, uh, can I just hold? Actually, can I just? I don't know if I can get back to that screen that easily. Oh yeah, it, it kicks me back to the main screen. All right, so next time on Rare Replay, we will do. I think Jeff Force Gemini was next. So we'll do that. So until then, this is Vandalay. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.